Now, the start of this spiel might sound a little familiar, but stick with me. You'll be amazed, absolutely amazed, where we end up. I told you a week or so ago about a ridiculous event being planned in a Melbourne suburban library. It's all about observing Ida Hobbit Day next month. That is, if you can believe the International Day against homophobia, biphobia, transphobia and others. So what do you do? Well, Monash Council decided to get a transgender reader involved for kids at the library. In the Oakley Library, part of the Monash Council in suburban Melbourne, they're having an Ida Hobbit Day event next month. And it's a kids book reading event, yes, one to six year olds, and it's hosted by a drag queen, Sam T. Yeah, it's a drag story time at the local library. And here's a radical idea for the library. Just have story time every day with a variety of readers. Teach kids to read, to enjoy books. That's your role. Leave the virtue signalling, the preaching and the sanctimony and the promotion of gender and sexuality diversity to others on their own time on their own dollars. Yeah, well, that's what I said then, but last night at the Monash Council meeting, some other people expressed their dismay in a very different way. Yeah, there was some pretty ugly stuff there. The meeting was shut down for a while and there were some clashes too between the pro-drag reading mob and the anti-drag reading mob. Now, look, peaceful protest always is the go, no matter what your cause is, but disrupting people from going about their jobs or acting in a threatening or physical way is never on. That's a given, surely, in any of these protests. Anyway, the event is sold out, apparently, so some parents want this for their kids. So go figure. The thing is that these gender wars and the diversity push is going to even more extreme levels in the US now. Let's see how long it takes to come here. I mean, they call it a diversity push. They seem to want to erase diversity, actually. I mean, no girls, no boys, no men, no women, just sort of weird pronouns. Have a look at this letter to parents of fifth grade kids at a US primary school in Vermont. It's letting them know about their human biology and health lessons coming up, effectively their sex education, and how the school will handle it in accordance with its equity policies, that is, without mentioning sex. It says it will be using new language with the kids. No boys or girls, males or females. Instead, person who produces sperm in place of boy, male or assigned male at birth and person who produces eggs in place of girl, female or assigned female at birth. I kid you not, the wealthiest, most powerful, most influential nation in the history of the world, and this is what we are reduced to. This is science denial. This is reality denial. Ladies and gentlemen, and I use those terms advisedly, we are in deep strife. We've lost the culture wars. We've got to fight back. Science has to trump virtue signalling. Reality has to trump make-believe posturing. Let's just hope we find some political leaders, male or female, with big enough proverbial sperm-producing organs to take up the fight.